<laughs> Welcome to another Digimedia Dude Tech Tip. I'm Marcelo Lewin, the Digimedia Dude. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to stop Windows 10 from automatically updating itself. Why would you want to do that? There are times when Microsoft releases patches that may crash your system, or perhaps you're in the middle of a project and it's not a good idea to do an update. It's always a good practice to make sure and research that the updates released are stable and okay to apply to your system. So let's get to it. Here we are on my Windows 10 desktop, and you can go to my computer, or in this case, I call it this PC. And what you want to do is you want to right click and manage. Now, if you don't see an icon on your desktop for my computer, you can always go to the Explorer icon at the bottom in your taskbar, click on it, and then under my computer or this PC, you right click and manage. Both will do the same. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and close this window. We'll move this over to the center here. Once you've done that, you want to go to the services area and click on services. Then you want to scroll all the way down until you find Windows Update. Once you've found Windows Update, you can double click on it or right click and click properties. Either will do the same. You will see here startup type. You want to say disabled and then you want to stop running the service. Once it's done running the service, click on OK. And now your Windows Update service is disabled and Windows will not auto update itself. You will have to do it manually. Now, if you do want to update manually, you can go into Windows Update, bring up the Windows Update. And when you click on check for updates, it's actually not going to work. Let's try it out. And you'll see that there were some problems. And the problems are that the Windows Update service is disabled. So if we go back to Windows Update here, and then let's right click, go to Properties, and let's set it to Automatic. Click OK. And then we can start the service by clicking on the Play button at the top here, or right click and click on Start. Now if we switch to Windows Update and say Retry, there it goes. It's checking for the updates. My system is fully updated, so it's going to say there's nothing left to update. I hope you found this episode helpful. If you did, please click on the like or thumbs up button. If you have any questions, comments, or opinions, please write them below. And like always, remember to subscribe to my channel, Digimedia Dude, to get notified when new episodes are out. Until the next one, I am Marcelo Lewin, the Digimedia Dude. Cheers, everyone.